Right, you guys, got another video here for you. Should I tweak or de bloat Windows 11 to boost performance or FPS? I see that quite a lot on YouTube and on the internet. A lot of people seem to want to boost their performance. Now, an easy way to do this and a safe way is to go into your settings, privacy and security, and tweak all of your settings here. There's plenty of options in here which you can turn off like background applications and things like that, that you don't use. You can just toggle these off and what will happen is you will have a much more better experience with Windows 10 or Windows 11 and safely by just toggling these off. By doing it this way, you're not destroying the operating system and you're not gonna break anything, which means you're gonna have to reinstall Windows if you break it. So let's talk about scripts, debloating, tweaking, and trying to boost performance on your system. So you can see here, there's a script here, which is a pretty good script. It's called This Is Win 11. And this is designed just for Windows 11 to uh, take out all of the bloat, as we would call it, to make your system a lot more snappier. Now, a lot of scripts will remove the telemetry or data collecting side of things from Windows and even go as far as adding uh, IP addresses to the actual host file to block IP addresses that are from, say, Microsoft. There's many lengths that some scripts go to. I'm not going to go into what this script does and what the other scripts do, but just know not all scripts are made equal. Now, this script here is pretty good. It will create a restore point, and you can take the check marks out of certain things that you want to remove. You can also restore certain features as well. It will allow you to remove all of the applications that are bundled inside Windows, applications that you may not use, like the game app you can see here, get help, get started, and a bunch of other stuff like OneDrive and loads of other things that it will remove. Now, if you don't understand any of this sort of stuff, then leave these well alone because they will remove key components from the operating system like the Xbox modules there you can see xbox game overlay xbox gaming overlay uh, and things like that now if you use these features they will be removed now unless you save them they will be completely removed and uninstalled from the system now there is loads of other things that get removed too now the thing you have to understand is that if you watch videos online and you watch someone using scripts to debloat the system or gain FPS or boost performance or all these terminologies that you're going to see in the title, you have to understand that this is the one person that's doing it on his computer. He doesn't know what requirements that you require for your PC when you're using scripts like this. If you follow what he's doing, you may remove stuff that you want on your system. And by now, you may have used a certain type of script that has removed that, which makes it very difficult to put that item back. Not all scripts are made equal, as I've said before. Some allow you to restore things. Some just completely remove it. So another thing to look at here is you can install programs and other items on your computer by using scripts like this one. And again, you want to make sure you're looking at scripts that are being maintained and updated on a regular basis. So who are these scripts made for? Well, I suppose there's a bunch of different people that they're designed for. One of them is definitely for paranoid people that like to uh, remove any sort of telemetry or block telemetry and block Windows updates and all these sorts of things. Uh, the sort of conspiracy theorist type of person that think there's some sort of uh, thing going on in the background and they want to block it all. And then you've got the other person, which is the gamer that wants to get that extra two frames per second from his computer by running all of this on his computer. And then you've got the person that just doesn't want to have all of this blow on his PC and he just wants to have it removed. For instance, if you don't use Cortana or you don't uh, want a load of applications installed, uh, like the apps that they bundle in there, you can remove them with these types of scripts. Rather than going through the whole process one by one, you can use a script to remove it for you. And then you've got the system tweaker who just loves tinkering with his operating system and probably ends up breaking it more times than it's uh, stable. Now, a lot of these people are probably running older computers with older hardware that has an older, say, for instance, Intel 2nd Gen and 3rd Gen and 1st Gen, and 
older AMD sort of uh, CPUs. And of course, they're running older DDR2 or DDR3 memory, and they're trying to uh, get every bit of last performance out of that old machine to run modern day tasks. So running scripts can de-bloat a lot of that system and remove a lot of the utilization that um, these operating systems are requiring. So for instance, your background apps and other things like that. And if they're gaming on these older systems, you're going to suffer with a lot of micro stutter and uh, freezing and things like that. And that's a general uh, problem for a lot of these older systems, especially when you put in a more modern day card in an older system, you're going to end up with problems like that. So for people that are running a more modern computer, I can safely say that when I install Windows on uh, on any sort of modern day computer, it runs silky smooth. There is no problems with it. And when I play games on a modern day computer, I don't get any sort of micro stutters and freezing and any problems like that, even without debloating uh, Windows at all. And for a gaming sort of perspective, I don't need to worry about FPS because I'm getting pretty good FPS anyway, and I don't need to worry about any of those problems. So if you are running an older system, I can see why people want to run uh, scripts like these to debloat it, to make the system a little bit more stable and less of an issue uh, on older computers. Whereas on a modern day computer, I think it's just going to come down to personal preference whether you want to uh, debloat Windows and remove some of the background uh, services that are running on the system that are taking up a lot of the uh, resources for your computer. Even on a modern day computer, there is still quite a few resources that Windows will require to run. And if you're running, say, a budget system, sometimes running something like this can give you that little bit more of a smoother experience with your computer. Now, if you're one of these people that want to use scripts to remove a lot of uh, bloatware or remove any sort of, you know, apps from your system and unwanted stuff, because let's face it, Microsoft don't help and they just don't give you the option to make it easy. So you have to go through and jump through a bunch of hoops to get rid of this stuff from your computer. So if you're one of these people that want to do that, you can use good scripts. There's plenty of them out there. And Chris Titus Tech has got one which is called Windows Toolbox or CTT Windows Toolbox. And again, if you want to use this, it's got an install section, a system tweak section, a troubleshoot section, and also a Windows update section. Now, the thing to remember when running scripts on your PC is only run the scripts that you want to run that disable certain features that you don't require. Some scripts are very vague. You run them and what they will do is they will delete or remove a bunch of stuff from your computer. You go back and you go to use something and guess what? It's been removed. So trying to use scripts like these that have a remove option and a reinstall option. Don't just go clicking on a, a tweak option that just removes a bunch of stuff that you don't know what it's doing because you have no clue about what that script is actually doing on the back end unless you understand how to read scripts. If you go to sites and they don't show you what the code is, where you can't see the code and you don't know how to read code, then walk away from it. Don't use it because you have no clue of what it's actually doing. So be very, very careful. Now, there is some good ones out there, as I've said, but there's also some easier options which you can do. Like I said, you can do it manually yourself by going in and turning off a bunch of features and you'll probably see a quite a difference in performance by just removing the background apps and things like that. Now, there are other options out there like this one here, which is called Shut Up 10. It also supports Windows 11. And you can see here, apply your settings here. It will create a restore point for you, and it will basically do a lot of these settings for you. You can toggle these on or off. And this is always a tried and trusted method to take back some sort of control over your system. And this is the more easier method to take control of your system and claw back some of that performance by using this method. And the good thing about this as well is it's completely reversible. So for all those people that are not familiar with scripts and how they work and how to read them, this is probably your best method if you want to uh, remove some of the uh, privacy concerns and things like that on your computer. So whether you're a system tweaker or not, just remember when you're watching someone on the internet, 
They are working out of a virtual machine and they're generally running uh, a tutorial to show you how to use it. They're not sometimes promoting it. It's just a tutorial to show you how to do it. Some people request videos that want to know how to do stuff and you show them. It doesn't always mean that you have to go ahead and do it yourself. Use a bit of common sense. Work out the risk to reward when you're running these sorts of scripts on your system and take everything with a pinch of salt. If you're running a modern day computer, you're probably not going to see much of a performance boost, but you're going to see more of a, a stable system with less background apps running. If you're running an older computer, you're probably going to see more benefit when you're running scripts like these because it's going to remove a lot of background apps and a lot of other bloat from the computer, which is going to help with less utilization, which will also help uh, boost performance. And it can improve performance a little bit on older hardware. But with that said, it's not going to give you an extra 100 frames per second. It just won't. A lot of those videos you see online are just clickbait. Anyway, you can work it out for yourself whether this is for you or not. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members in my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. And I'll see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.